Good morning, Japan. Tubal Cruise here, checking in for another cycling vlog here in Nagoya, Japan. Today, I'm trying out something new on the channel, and it's gonna be a little bit of a social distancing ride, a nice little weekend ride. I haven't been doing too much regular cycling lately because I've just been doing my bike commuting and I haven't been doing much leisure riding outside of that. So today's video, I'm gonna try something new and bring you guys along on my solo ride. So if you like these kinds of videos, you'd like to see more like this, be sure to give the video a like and let me know down below in the comments. And let's hop on the main road real quick. So it's the weekend right now as I'm filming this. It's Saturday, a nice sunny Saturday with some nice warmer weather. You'll notice that I don't have any sleeves on right now. So it is my first, it is actually my first short sleeve jersey and shorts ride of the year. I checked the temperature before I went out. It's 21 degrees Celsius and I have a borderline rule. I don't allow myself to go out in shorts or short sleeve jersey if it's below 20 degrees Celsius. So today, first shorts ride of the year. And the weather's just so nice today. I couldn't resist not going out for a nice little spin. I'm not sure how long I'm gonna talk in today's video, but I'm thinking to go for about a two hour ride or so. I don't think I'm gonna talk the whole time, but there's a cool place I wanna show you guys. So I'm gonna at least walk. I'm at least gonna bring you guys there and show you guys the cool location. And we're actually gonna be riding north today. I don't ride north too often. I normally ride east to the mountains. So it's been quite a few months since I've gone in this direction. I'm pretty excited to see how it looks right now. We're in spring season in Japan right now. So all the cherry blossoms are blooming. I'm sure we'll see some beautiful sights along the way. And for those of you who don't know or who are new to the channel, I actually live in Nagakute, which is the city on the east side of Nagoya. It's kind of like a suburb city. So it's right on the edge of the city. If you go a little bit further east, you go right into the mountains. And if you go a little bit to the west, you're into the busier part of the city. So it's a nice border city. And I have the access to the more countryside areas right at my doorstep, which is really nice. So I've really enjoyed living here these last few years. And so today we're not quite going into the countryside part, but So today we're going to be going into a different part of the countryside and here on the left is actually our city center or our city town hall, we call this the Shiakusho. There's also a little police station here at Koban. And this is actually where I met my wife. And this is where we had our Japanese classes. It's also where we got married here in Japan. We just made a video on the channel a little bit back about talking about our story about how I met my wife who's Vietnamese at our Japanese class here. And this is pretty cool. We've got some other flowers here on the side of the street. So currently we're going east, but we're gonna turn here and go north. So 
So look at this, we just came from a nice, a pretty decently busy road and all of a sudden we got some farming area here. Uh, I came here a little too early, we gotta go down to the next street. Like I said, I haven't been over here in a long time. I'm losing my sense of direction. Some cherry blossoms there. Nice little temple here. Nice surprises, no matter where you go here. It's a nice little detour. And you can see the wind is blowing pretty hard today. Fortunately, it's a tailwind right now, so we should get some good audio. And I'm feeling nice and fast. And it's going to be a rough journey home today, that's for sure. Here we go, this is where we needed to turn. All right. And even small little climbs like this right now, I'm not used to climbing right now, so this is getting to me. I gotta get out and do some more riding in the hills, get back in shape. This little green section is a, a commute path marker, so. Pedestrians will use it if they're walking or cyclists will use it and you can tell it's really small. It's not really nothing It's not going to protect you, but they try to mark the commute lanes like that And bad luck with the light Normally I stop and I'll put my hands on these rails or something but right now with the whole virus situation I'm scared to touch anything. I'm gonna try and not touch anything else during the ride today. Green. There you go, we got some more of the little commuter lane here. They're basically a joke. Bamboo forest here. And Sakura here. This is a medical university to the left here. Pretty big facility. And this is one of the city sprint signs. So we're leaving Nagakte, going into Seto city right now. That's a city to the north. construction going on there. And you may also notice these roads, these are not one-way roads. This road is just actually this narrow, so it's actually a pretty well-traveled road. The cars try and go both directions and it is not made very well wide enough for both-way traffic.
Change, 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 okay. Nice sakura by the river over there. Lots of red lights. Now we're in Owari Asahi. Check that car out. Another light. like traffic is backed up a little bit luckily we got a little bit of a bike lane here so we can sneak by not for long <laughs> this path ended let's uh hop over on the sidewalk As many of you guys know, I'm recently switching my tires, or I've recently switched my tires to a solid airless setup. And I've gotten a lot of questions about how they ride. Are they pretty rough on the roads? And they're pretty nice when you're on a smooth road like now, but anytime you go over a bump, you definitely feel it. It's like riding a super high pressure uh, regular air tire. So, Oop. Bicycle is usually the faster way to go. And let's sneak back on the road. Yellow light. We got a railroad crossing coming up here. 
and in railroads here in Japan, you gotta always stop by the tracks, whether you're a bike, whether you're a car, you gotta stop to check, make sure it's okay. And here we go, another red light. Lots of bars and izakayas around this area. Some yakitori grilled chicken here. We're right by a train station. Nice to see lots of people on bikes today. Another police koban over there. Hadn't noticed that one before. In case you were wondering, this is what it's like to drive a car in Japan. Go and stop and go and stop. There's red lights everywhere. It's ridiculous. But we won't be in this mess for too long. Don't want to get stuck at this light too, so I'm gonna pick up the pace a little bit. All right, we're safe. Just made it. Cars will always get stuck at the lights, so you usually end up catching the same people every time. They'll pass you again here. You'll catch them at the next light. I remember why, or one of the reasons why I don't really ride to this direction that often. Actually, we can do a sneaky thing here. The light technically doesn't apply here. I'm gonna get a whole bunch of hate comments from some of the Japanese people watching my channel.
my horse here. That's unexpected, wow. And here we are crossing, this is not a park actually, this is a golf course area. But there's a lot of nature around here. Oh, E-mountain bike, it's another rare sight. Seeing lots of cool things today. And you'll love the name of this golf course. It's called like Golf Wood Friends or something like that. Here we go, here's one of our signs. Golf Wood. We got a nice little cafe here and a driving range. You can see it over there, there's the driving range. And unfortunately, my left shifter is broken right now, so I can't shift into a big ring. Here we are. Wood Friends. Sheen Dean Cohen Golf Course. Careful here. Road gets a little bit narrow in some places. Looks like they're cutting down some trees lately. Then left here. It's 
place is called Fruit Park. I've never really stopped here to look around or anything though, but I guess they have a couple different places where you can pay to pick some of the fruit. Looks like the cherry blossoms and plum flowers are also blooming right now. Very nice view. Oh wow. Yeah, no sidewalks on these roads. You gotta walk on the side of the road. Back to some nice smooth pavement here. We got another university over here. Actually, we're gonna cross here, so let's wait at the crosswalk. Unfortunately, this next road is quite busy. We'll be cycling along one of the rivers here, and the road is a bit narrow and pretty heavily trafficked. But the view that we're gonna see at the end is well worth it. Oh wow, that's a really cool house hidden to the left.
go. Feels so good. Try and get over so they can pass, but there's no space on this road. Sucks to be a car though, you'd be stuck in this traffic forever getting back. Yeah, we're getting a nice view of the river now. It's unfortunate that this is just a high speed road. It's really narrow. But it's one of the few only ways to get over in this direction. here we are we can finally get off this dangerous road and I'm gonna show you guys this really cool section this is one of my favorite places uh, around here just beautiful view check this bridge out so over here this is actually an old station and parts of it are abandoned just completely destroyed but it's still active there's still some trains that come through here so I'm gonna pull the camera off the mountain real quick show you guys this area. Uh, this is my bike today, by the way. This is Suica Chan, my Planet X, and these are the solid red tires that I've been using lately. I made a review video for these about the install and my first impression, so you can check it out, but it's a really cool feeling being able to ride and not have to worry about flats. And anyway, that's the road that we just came from. And we're on this bridge right now. I don't want to stand in the middle of the road. There's still some cars that do come across here, but it is pretty rare. 
And this bridge is just really cool. Like, check this out. Check these old school lanterns out. This is just super cool. And on the river itself, you can see just giant boulders, really cool sections. And we've also got this side of the river as well. Some rapids. And we've also got some of the sakura cherry blossoms over here. I used to stop over here pretty regularly on some of our cycling vlogs, some of our older vlogs on the channel when me and my wife would go cycling around this area. We had more time to explore. And it's really cool coming back here today. Hopefully we're going to be doing some more adventure rides soon and we'll be coming out this way. But now you guys know how we get out here. This is usually actually one of the starting points to get out further into the more adventurous areas. So we're still within a reasonable distance to where we live. And there we go, there's actually a train coming by right now. Anyway, let's get back on the bike. There goes the train. So this is the tourism guide for here. I haven't really checked out any of these other attractions, but I hear there are some cool walking courses. Check out the alleyway over there too. We've got some of the sakura. But now that my wife is doing a walking channel, we may have to come out here and do a walking tour. So check this out. Just half of this area is abandoned, but half of it is still in use. There's actually some graffiti here too, which is really rare in Japan. And there's actually some water flowing down here. If you can see that in the camera, check that out. It's pretty interesting. And here we go. This is a walking path. This is called the Tokai Natural Walking Road. So Tokai is this region in Japan. And there's some walking trails in here. Maybe me and my wife will come back here one day to explore that for you guys. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna end this video here for today. I'm gonna continue on with my ride, but I'm trying something new today. I hope you guys enjoyed the new ride along style video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments, give this video a like. If there's enough positive response, maybe I'll make this a regular series and do one of these a week or so. It's a nice way for me to show you guys where I'm riding in some other cool places that we go and completely like raw, unfiltered, so you guys see everything, the whole route and stuff. So anyway, let me know if you guys like it and we'll be sure to make more videos like this. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time here on Tubo Cruise.